Hello walkers and welcome to Twin Bridges, Montana. It's a little bit of a trick here because I'm not actually going to keep going this way. I just want to show you um, this abandoned orphanage or mental health hospital or youth home. I can't remember exactly what it is in the distance. Uh, I can't get there from here because there's a ditch um, and I don't want to cross it because look at this ice choked cold cold beaverhead river that we're walking along here in Twin Bridges. Um, excuse me. Uh, it is quite cold. It's 14, no, yeah, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Or according to my phone, it's late October, about 1130 in the morning. Um, and we are going to explore Twin Bridges, Montana together. You can see the Tobacco Root Mountains in the distance. Uh, Twin Bridges, a town of about 500 people to 500 uh, situated kind of in the meeting area of the beaverhead this river right here the big hole and the ruby all blue ribbon trout streams which is one of the many well it's one of the economic drivers of this area as well as ranching <clears throat> excuse me we're starting out at the rest area just west of town on the way to Dillon um, it's closed for the winter but they do have this cool thing that they put in a couple years ago, which is um, a bike touring uh, place for people that are doing these two major bike trails, um, which pass through here. They can come, they can camp, they have, I think they have access to water and uh, it's a warming place. And um, anyway, very cool. Let me look this up here again, the name of the trails, the Transamerica Trail and the Lewis and Clark Bicycle Trail. Uh, and you can see that right over here, we'll walk past it. There's actually a path along the river, but I, after we see this, <clears throat> excuse me, it's quite cold. Um, the, what is it, the Bell White, Bill White Bike Camp. Um, we'll do a little circle. But I want to uh, show you the Madison County Fairgrounds. That semi-circular Quonset hut looking building across the street, I believe is the gymnasium for the school, which is across the river directly. <clears throat> so looks like they have showers and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, water. And uh, let's peek in the window here like some uh, a warming area and some couches um, and maybe up there well I think you're just getting getting the uh, <laughs> I won't spend too much time on just a reflection there um, <clears throat> excuse me anyway a great resource for people that are passing through on their big bike tour adventures um, a great, I don't know, I think that's a great little resource that this town has gotten together to do. Probably helps people, helps local businesses. It's a great investment in the community. Sorry, i got to put my gloves back on after I get everything s uh, started. Here's an old stone building. Don't know what this is. Let's find out. I saw a sign on the other side when I drove in. Um, I'll put a link to the Wikipedia article that I read. I've been through Twin Bridges numerous, numerous times, but never taken the time to explore. So glad you guys can join me on this. This says, looks like a jail. Uh, built in 1900 for $608. I uh, don't know what it is. Building presented in memory of somebody love joy <clears throat> well if you have a connection to twin bridges or know what that is please leave a comment below i love getting comments personal stories corrections more additional information that sort of thing here i didn't even realize there was a boat ramp here but that's what this is again major fly fishing destination um i guess it's south of town 
is the home of the R.L. Winston Rod Company, which is a pretty well-known, high-quality fly rod manufacturer. <clears throat> Let's dock, duck over to the Madison County Fair and Rodeo Grounds. This person's slowing down for us very kindly. Got your uh, requisite horseshoe pits here. I'll show you what that is. For those of you who are not used to or not as familiar with American culture, out west at least, uh, we have these horseshoe pits and it's a little bit like bocce, but with horseshoes. And you try and get a ringer by getting your horseshoe to uh, get caught on that post. <clears throat> One of the reasons I came over here, the fairgrounds, of course, rodeos are fun. Um, if you're not a cow or a bull or a horse. Um, but uh, this round barn, which I think are kind of unique. We have one in Livingston. There's one further north in this valley, the Jefferson Valley. Those three rivers I talked about, they come together to form the Jefferson River which then flows into Three Forks where it joins with the Madison and the Gallatin to form the Missouri River, which then, wow, that goes, I don't know how many miles, thousand miles to the Mississippi. Um, anyway, this round barn is pretty interesting. They're cool inside too. It's obviously locked up right now. Uh, and then you have this old log building and a pavilion over here. An old dugout canoe, looks like, or maybe a facsimile of one. Reminds me a bit of the watering things in uh, the Alps. They have like a, a well or a water flowing into something like that to catch it. And then over beyond is the uh, arena for the rodeo and other big events and some um, barns, log barns, very cool old log barns for the fair. My dad has a couple mules. Maybe we'll have to take you on a mule ride sometime. Um, here's a uh, statue of Sacagawea, Sacagawea, and probably Seaman, the dog, and Pompey, or Pompey, or Pompey, her son. That's fun. <clears throat> And of course, the Beerhead River is actually named for a rock formation further south towards Dillon that uh, overlooks the Beaverhead and it looks actually like a beaver head or <laughs> close enough. Um, and Lewis and Clark came through here and this was the Beaverhead, I think is what Sacaga Joa knew when she knew she was home because she recognized that um, that uh, site. Anyway, and she then was instrumental in helping and translating for Lewis and Clark on their journey out west and back. Anyway, we're going to cross the Beaverhead and uh, go down to Main Street and we'll probably make a left on Main Street, <clears throat> I'm thinking, and then we can uh, loop back around towards the school, see a little neighborhood, then we'll come back out to Main Street and walk south and get, uh, get you a good view of that. Another good view of all this ice flowing by. It's really pretty. Up ahead is a bar. I think it's a bar called the Blue Anchor. But let's cut left on 
North Bridge Street. It's interesting to see Bullock signs out here. He's a Democrat running for Senate against Steve Daines. Uh, We won't spend too much time back here in the neighborhood. We'll duck back past the school, or at least get you a view of the school, and uh, then back out to Main Street. <clears throat> Neat old, I guess an old Willys uh, Jeep. Or no, maybe it's a Land Rover, sorry. Should have known that. Still pretty cool. There's a house for sale, not far from the river. If you're looking for a fly fishing property, you can call uh, Berkshire Hathaway in Twin Bridges. We're on North Bridge Street, I think I mentioned, and we're coming up on 6th. I thought it was supposed to be a little sunnier today, but we keep getting uh, clouds blocking the sun, which makes, it, which makes it just a little bit chillier. Um, down here is a school. I don't really want to go film around kids. I think that's a little bit unnecessary. Um, so I'm just going to keep going. Cute house here, though. We'll make it one more block, what do you say? Let me know. There's, hold on here. There's a statue in here I want to show you. Just a random statue of a sheep. Sheep uh, ranching, I think, is a, a thing here. Um, certainly down by Dillon, there's a company called Duckworth. Uh, and they're a big thing of sheep to shelf. They have a bunch of sheep outside of Dillon, I think in the Centennial Valley. And then they also take that wool and make it into nice, very nice wool clothing, kind of with an outdoor bent. <clears throat> I kind of, I love, despite all the negatives of political season, I love the fact that we have on one side <clears throat> a Trump supporter and on the other side, directly across, this, saw this in uh, Whitehall too, somebody supporting Biden-Harris. They're both getting their views out there, letting their flags fly. But I love the neighbors can be uh, have disagreements. I hope that they're not unfriendly or disrespectful. There's a great ad in Utah, political ad, put out by, I think they were candidates for governor, both parties, two primary parties here in the States, talking about how important it was to be decent to each other. Uh, and it was really, really pretty cool. trying to maintain a level gate here. It's a little tricky in boots on an icy road. Thanks for your patience. Okay, this is 
I can't remember what road it is. Um, but if you go left, there's a fly shop on the fly or something. Stone fly outfitters. And if you keep going out along the Jefferson, uh, or it becomes the Jefferson and you get to Whitehall, we're gonna head south through the downtown area. I don't think I mentioned that this town has been around since the 1860s when the Lott brothers moved here and started building roads and engaging in trade. There was a junction of, uh, I think, four Native American trails right near here, right near the high school, or right at the school. And uh, so it was a nexus of travel even then. And then as Europeans came out, um, they expanded those trails into roadways, etc. There's Twin Bridges Dental. Across the street is the Twin Bridges Volunteer Fire Department and City Hall. Um, this little place here is called the Red Shed, which is a little interesting because of the fly fishing connection here. There's a, a guy over in Peck, Idaho, on the Clearwater River named Poppy, next truck driver turned fly fishing shop owner. And his shop is called the Red Shed, and it's pretty, it's very well known in the steelhead fishing community of that area great guy did a little video of him I don't know seven to ten years ago long time ago this is the wagon wheel restaurant and then comes the Four Rivers Fishing Company another outfitter and fly shop and then the old hotel across the way is kind of neat old building There's, I'm hearing a little bit of a click in our audio and it's because of the microphone attached to my jacket and I think the, the cold, cold wires um, bumping against my jacket. You have a uh, boot washing station to keep um, to avoid invasive species getting into the creeks and rivers. Zebra mussel shell, or mus zebra mussels, and a uh, bunch of stuff, really. You don't want to ruin these trout streams. Kind of a neat oh, oh. old uh, Main Street Market. There's the blue anchor again. Big stock trailer there. <clears throat> Empty, it looks like. Another one, not empty. I'm gonna go ahead and cross here. Hope I don't get run over. Custom made hats, Montana Mad Hatters. I'm gonna check that out a little bit. Across the way is, well, is the post office and Opportunity Bank. Custom made hats, that looks like it could be a fun store. Stop by if you are in uh, Dillon, Montana. I'm sorry, Twin Bridges. I'm thinking ahead. Neat old buildings here. <clears throat> of 
cross over. I believe it's hunting season, uh, big game season here, and wouldn't be unusual to um, see the elk in a bag of the bat in the back of a pickup, legs sticking out or antlers sticking out. Haven't seen that today. I saw one yesterday. There's a mural from, I guess, the Four Rivers Fishing Company. Maybe they used to be over here. Um, oh, I forgot to show you here. That is a Twin Bridges Historical Association, a museum. I'll swing around and walk back along there. And then the Twin Bridges Public Library in this other brick building. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Here's the uh, Kingdom Hall of the Jehovah's Witness. Witnesses. All right, so I promised you I'm gonna cross over. That was not my original plan, but we're on a voyage of discovery of Twin Bridges, so what the heck. Ooh, another mural, mural too. Pretty cool. Library is open. Mask rules in effect. <clears throat> I'll see if we can do this without. It's like some fun stuff in there. So one of the things, this is called a beaver slide. I think you can see it beyond the reflection. And uh, it's a way of, it's a model, but it's a way of collecting hay. And there are uh, a bunch of those between here and Dillon and in these valleys and these old ranches. And uh, what they'll do is they'll cut the hay, they'll put it at the bottom, run a little rake up that lifts it up and then dumps it onto a pile. Oh. Let's cross over again and we'll go back into this neighborhood. <clears throat> Sorry for the zigzagging. This is a uh, third. You get a good view of the Tobacco Root Mountains. I'm gonna go down here and make a left on third.
here's the, I, when I was in Whitehall, I showed you a trailer that had been purchased and redone, turned into almost basically a work of art. Here's the type of trail peop, trailer people like to buy to do that. This one's in pretty good shape for an old one, but it, I don't think it's been redone. I could be wrong about that. The inside looks nice. Looks like there's another old one down there too. An old blue and white one. All right, we're gonna cut through here. We'll go take a quick look at that. Go by the, um, sorry, the uh, post office. It's like a little, a fun little uh, fort someone's made for their kids. Or maybe the chickens, who knows. Anyway, here's that uh, trailer. Alrighty. This looks like the green cross, it's not a guarantee, but it looks like a medical marijuana dispensary. Medical marijuana is legal and regulated in Montana. <clears throat> and there's actually a voter initiative and um, constitutional amendment initiative this election to allow for recreational marijuana use in Montana. Um, and I don't know, we'll see if it passes or not. I think polls show most people are in favor of of that as long as it's well regulated and taxed but you never know until you go to the polls so we'll see <clears throat> and here we are back to <clears throat> excuse me the junction of 41 montana route 41 I think we are going to wrap it up here. We're right around 30 minutes, a little under. Um, and uh, thank you for joining us here in Twin Bridges, Montana. It's been fun. Um, give us a like, a comment. Those, I, I really do read the comments and I pay attention to them. And I love getting them, especially if you've been to Twin Bridges or have a personal connection. Maybe you've come here fishing, or, uh, or just traveled here. Uh, in any case, I'd love to hear about it. Subscribe, click that bell to get notified about new videos. Uh, I'm gonna film another one here in, a, in an hour or two down in Dillon, at least that's the plan. Um, so uh, click that bell to get notified. We'll see you next time. I'm going to keep walking up here and close out showing you the river just because it's such a nice and beautiful scene and a little different. Um, but in the meantime, keep on stepping. Do not jump or dive from bridge. Sounds like a good plan. You can hear the ice and slush.